Do you suffer from sounding a little bit too much like this when you sing? Well, if so, keep watching. Hi, I'm Marcus with the IndieMusicLab.com. So if you're anything like me, your natural voice might have a little bit of excess nasality, which becomes a problem when you go to mix your vocal. So today I wanna to share two specific EQ frequencies you can experiment with cutting so that you can try and tame and mitigate the amount of nasality and the harshness of that nasal tone in your mix. Let's get into it. Now, if this video ends up being helpful for you, I do wanna direct your attention to my website, theindiemusiclab.com. Go check it out if you wanna dive deeper into all things music production and making indie music. Okay, EQing a nasal vocal. Now, I do need to mention up front here that EQ can only do so much. If your vocal take is extremely nasal, then you should do one of two things. Number one, you may just need to re-record the take and just be a little bit more intentional about not getting, having as much of that nasality. Be a little bit more of the, you know, buh, 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 have a little bit more of that tone rather than the mm and the mm, you know, all up in your nose kind of thing. You wanna balance, obviously. We, nasal tone is not bad, just that's so we can be clear about that. There's nothing wrong with nasal tone. If you don't have any nasality at all in your tone, you just sound like Green Day. Wake me up, when September. See, yeah. <laughs> now, if re-recording the take and being intentional about not being too nasal, if that still doesn't work, then what you may need to do is just go back to the basic fundamentals of singing. Now, the best way to do that, although it's obviously an expensive way, is to get a vocal coach. Now, this is what I did a few years ago and it changed my life. So if it's at all possible, I highly recommend getting a competent vocal coach that's a good fit for you to train you and to get, even if it's just a few lessons, it doesn't have to be for years on end, just a few lessons to help you to get an understanding and to get your voice in a better place. Now, if you can't afford that, just find a competent coach on YouTube and binge their stuff and start to get an understanding of how you can sing better. Now, let me direct you to my friend, Tyler Wysong. He's also my personal vocal coach. He's an absolute legend and he's the best vocal coach that I know of. So I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go check out his YouTube channel. Now, if you're like, okay, fine, my vocal isn't, you know, nasal to the point of being an absolute catastrophe, then there are a couple EQ moves we can do. So now that we've got all the caveats out of the way, let's dive in. So the two frequency points we're gonna look at is around 2K and around 1K. Now, these have different tones, but you could think of both of them as being nasal. So the 2K range is where you get more of that harsh quality, that eh, 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 right? It's just, it gets really annoying. Now the 1K range is where you get more of a honky kind of wonky honky nasal sound that can also be very unpleasant. So we're gonna dive into both of those and see if we can make this vocal even better. So I have a song of mine pulled up here and let's have a listen to it. Maybe she's now let's see what this would sound like if I were to boost at 2K and boost at 1K because this is already a mixed vocal so we're not gonna go back to everything that I did because that would take too much time for the purpose of this video. Instead, I'm just gonna grab a new EQ and add it to this chain on the lead vocal. So the first thing I'm gonna do is do a boost on this vocal at around 2K and that's gonna help us to get a feel and an understanding of what this sounds like when you accentuate uh, around 2K, which a lot of singers who have a lot of nasality in their voice will have a bit too much in the 2K range. I'm one of those people. I almost always have to do a cut at 2K for that reason. So let's listen to what this vocal sounds like with 2K boosted. Flickering light, my satellite, my satellite. Oh, maybe, maybe she's a She's a thorn in my side, my kryptonite, my kryptonite. See, it, it's this uh, 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 it's really annoying if it's if there's too much of that. So the 2K range is the first place I would look at to do a cut and sometimes do a substantial cut of upwards of six to seven, eight dB even, if that can warm up your vocal and get it to not sound so ant-y. <laughs> Uh, in, in your mix. Now the other place I would look at is around 1K. Like I mentioned earlier, this is where you get that honky nasality, which sounds like this. Flickering light, my satellite, my satellite. It's that super annoying honky sound and doing a cut here can really help uh, that the lower end of that nasality to uh, get out of the way so you can have a warmer tone in 
and it have it sit in the vocal mix better without those annoying honky sounds cutting through. Oh maybe, maybe she's a She's a thorn in my side, my kryptonite, my kryptonite. So these are two really powerful cuts that you want to experiment with and maybe do both, maybe do one, but you definitely, I would say these are the top two places you wanna look at when it comes to cutting on an EQ to fix to the best of your ability a nasal vocal. All right, now before you go, I wanna give you a gift that I made. So I made a PDF that I called a visual guide to fixing EQ problems. And this is, this might be the best guide I've, I've ever made, especially for beginners. If you're trying to figure out how to use EQ correctly and effectively and efficiently and all those good things, is it's so confusing at first to try to figure out how, what I'm supposed to do with an EQ. It's like, I know my vocal needs an EQ, I just don't even know where to start. So this will give you a set of problems. So the way I have it laid out is, problem, too much woofiness and muddiness in the vocal. Solution, try making a cut between 300 and 400 hertz or whatever the, the numbers are, right? That is what I have. Another one, problem, my vocal doesn't sit in the mix well even when I turn the volume up. So if that is your problem, the solution boost here, right? So this gives you, uh, there's I think six or eight different things, some boosting, some cutting. It's like if you know the problem, I have the solution mapped out for you, or at least the most high percentage solution that I think is going to really help you to not make all these random EQ cuts and boosts and without understanding what you're doing. And this will help you give you a roadmap to follow of like, if you're having this problem, here's the solution. So download that, it's absolutely free, it's in the description. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Happy music making.